Hey everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure! A game that I don't remember where I got the CD from. I guess it was a mail order thing. but Or maybe it came with Amer an American Online uh, disc. So, uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Welcome to Cap'n Crunch's Crunchling Adventure. I've just returned from the center of the earth. I'd better tell you all about it, since I'm going to need your help. You see, not long ago, I visited Crunch headquarters and discovered they were running low on Crunchium, the secret ingredient that gives Cap'n Crunch cereal its gold delicious taste. I rushed to the Crunchium pipeline to see what was the matter. It was just as I feared. Someone or something was blocking the flow of Crunchium. Quickly, I boarded my subterranean and shoved off to check it out. Piloting the subterranean, I charted the course of the pipeline to the very depths of the sea, but I couldn't find anything blocking the flow of Crunchium. It was a real mystery. Finally, I decided the only thing to do was follow the pipeline to the center of the earth. There I would visit the Crunchlings, builders of the fabled Crunchium City, and keepers of the Crunchium Collector and Pipeline. I hoped everything was all right, but I began to fear something terrible had happened. I left the subterranean and began to explore the tunnels around Crunchium City. It didn't take long to find the problem. The Crunchium Pipeline had been taken over by a gang of Crunchium thieves. And these scallywags were stealing all of the world's Crunchium for themselves! Now I had to wonder, what had become of my friends, the Crunchlings? They had helped me build the Crunchium Collector, which keeps the pipeline flowing so that we can all enjoy Cabin Crunch cereal! Stealing all the Crunchium? <laughs> Tearing down Crunchium City? Well, let's just have a talk with these Crunchium Thieves! <laughs> the leader of the Crunchium Thieves was one tough customer. He and his band had vowed to tear down Crunchium City and destroy every last one of the Crunchlings. If they weren't stopped, my friends, the Crunchlings, would be destroyed, and nobody would enjoy the sweet and crunchy taste of Cap'n Crunch cereal again. I began to form a plan. So that's my plan. I made the Crunchy and Thieves agree to an athletic challenge. We need to pick the best Crunchling athlete to face their champion in one of their games. If you win, the thieves will leave Crunchium City, and you will be the keepers of the world supply of Crunchium forever. But if the thieves win, they will force you to leave your beautiful home, and they'll tear it all down with their bare hands. But I know we're smarter than they are, and we can't let that happen. <laughs> help? Uh, of course I'll help, but I think I'm gonna need some help myself. That's where you come in. I need you to help me by raising one of these Crunchlings as your very own. You'll need to feed and train your Crunchling. And together, we can raise one of these little critters to chase those thieves out of Crunchium City forever. So, for those of you who weren't paying attention, uh... Apparently, Captain Crunch has enslaved an alien race in order to create Hi. his cereal. Before we get started, you need to choose the Crunchling you will raise and train. And on the next screen, you'll give your Crunchling a name and help them choose their colors. Go ahead and pick the little critter you'd like to raise. And now he's giving us one of them uh, to use in order to combat the thieves who are trying to steal from his empire because he can't have his pipeline, literal pipeline, of what's essentially his gold. And now we're going to pick one of them and genetically modify them to, uh, to be able to help us in this. So I guess we have to pick one of these. Oh, boy. Uh, well, let's go with this one, because he's got a hat. Everybody likes hats. Alright, well, we have to give him a name. Um... I think I think the most applicable thing here is Oh. I can't type. 
apparently. I think, uh... Oh, well, you know what we were going for. You know what we were going for there. It even capitalized the B properly. I don't think I shifted that. Anyways. Let's, uh, let's give him red. Yeah, we'll just spray paint him. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's, oh my god. Oh, what an abomination we've created. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit better. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But we just... We have to keep going. Oh, that laugh of his. He knows! He knows the terrible things that he's doing to these... Whatever they are. Crunchlings. Ugh. This is your little buddy's new home. All of it's a little old cave. City, including plenty of crunchium inside lots of cap and crunch cereal. In order to feed this little crunchling, just click one of these levers. I, uh... You're gonna raise the best crunchling athlete ever. Crunchlings need lots of praise, as well as plenty of cap and crunch cereal. You can tell if your buddy needs a pat by looking at this bar. Uh-huh. Okay. I guess you're ready to start your crunchlings training. Good luck, and just click on this big screen if you need me. I'll stop in and see how you're doing later. Literally put them into a cave. Where now they will do our bidding. Uh, unless, you know, then and, uh, it's, it's okay, little guy. There you go. Wait, so we have to pet him to keep him appeased. Likely so that he doesn't start the revolt. And, uh, of course, Captain Crunch has uh, put the metaphorical or maybe actual crack into these things. Because that's all they eat. And uh, we have to feed them lots of them. Yeah. I don't... There's, um... Three different flavors. All of them terrible. I mean, when's the last time you had Captain Crunch? It usually just, like, scuffs at the top of your mouth and really doesn't do much beyond that. Oh, God. I, um... I think we're breaking some, like... There's some definitely some OSHA violations going on here. Oh, well. Well, anyways. Uh, now we have three different, um... Games that... Games in quotations that we can play. And, um... Yeah, I guess let's just go with the first one, speed. Time to practice your speed, eh? Well, come with me. We're off to Backwardia. To what? Where? Where are we going? This is somewhat worse than like, you know, when college this athletes are pushed into a certain direction. Anything could happen in this crazy place, but it always happens backwards. Oh. You're going to race against this turtle on your skateboard, and you'll need to jump over all of the things in your way. Okay. Movie. Just press your right arrow key to skate, and the space bar to jump! On your Alright, well that's easy. Set, go. So you just press right to go forward and space bar to jump. And that's all there is to this. Our jumps are huge. Of course we want to pick up Captain Crunch that, uh... I think that makes us slightly faster. And, um, yeah. No, oh, hey, the Gatorade's not backwards! <laughs> I don't think I ever noticed that as a kid, but it's the only thing here, not backwards. <laughs> That's so stupid. So I think the idea is that you can't really win against the turtle, who apparently is amazing at walking backwards. I would have tripped and fallen on my head and died immediately. We're uh, halfway there, apparently. And, and I guess the idea is that, like, you get faster and your time gets better. The more times you do this. But unfortunately, the courses only change a couple of times. So you have to do this over and over and over and over in order to uh, get better. We're going to be here a long time. Don't worry. I'll skip past all of that for you guys because I'm not going to make you sit through this hell. Oh, look at that. Tons of Gatorade. So that we know who sponsored this game. I wish I could actually read what the sign said. Do we win? Congratulations! Let's hear it for the fastest crunchling in back. I have no idea if we fucking won. And so I guess you, uh, every time we try again, it's a little better. But I think I want to show off the fact. See that little that little bit? That's how much it actually raised it. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all these um, because our little thing here will. Um, nope, stand still. I have to appease you. Make you happy. And there you go. There's some food. <sighs> you poor bastard. Um, 
It's okay. One day you'll rise up and you'll fight your evil captain overlord. Uh, the next one we got is strength. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to show off all of them because if we evolve. All aboard my Jurassic car for a voyage to the time when the Crunchosaurus ruled the earth. We're going to do some <laughs> throwing practice. Oh God, he's preparing him for combat. Yeah, if we go too far, I think we'll evolve. And uh, at that point, I won't be able to show you these starting courses. Not that it really matters. What? Oh my god, what? So yeah, you just press spacebar. However, the other thing you can do is just hold it down. I'm pretty sure the timing ends up being almost perfect. <laughs> I mean, like, you'll miss one or two every now and then. <laughs> you'll get almost every single one. And I don't know what... Um, I don't know what score you actually need to be good at any of this. Just hold down spacebar. I guess you can move if you really want to. Seems like being slightly offset to one side actually might be better for us because I seem to be hitting absolutely everything here. I guess when the pterodactyl comes, you could uh, ruin its day and throw a hell of a lot more. Oh lord. That's terrible. I wonder if I have to fill up all of the bars to evolve. That's gonna be scary. Uh, good. That's the way. Good job. Remember, the more you practice, the stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll build your army soon enough. I just want to show off these three. And then there's the jumping game, which, admittedly, I'm terrible. At. Oh my God, the strength bar Time barely. To set sail oh. for Computica, crunchling buddy. We're going to do some jumping. All right, we're going to go jump. This one I'm actually kind of bad at. I'm not going to lie. Land Hopefully home. there's not a timer. Welcome to Computica. Here you'll practice jumping as you make your way up these memory platforms to reach the top. Just press space to jump and guide yourself in the air with the arrow keys. The faster you can reach the top, the better your score. I'll leave a few crunch berries for you to find on the way. Pick them up for bonus points. Good luck. I'll meet you at the top. On your marks, get set, go! So, yeah. I think the reason I was so bad at this is because the controls are super floaty. Oh, God. And I always forget to, like, let go of the space bar. So when I land on another platform, I end up jumping again immediately. Oh, Lord. Although this dude has some major ups, not gonna lie. Maybe we are training him for, like, the NBA or something. Whoa. Alright, well, I, way better than the best time. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed along and try and, well, get our, oh, Jesus Christ, get our little guy here uh, much stronger. Oh, oh, he's unhappy. He's going to smack his head a couple of times and feed him. I don't know if that makes him do better. I don't think it does. I don't know what it actually does. Who knows? Anyways. I'm gonna speed through a whole bunch of training now. It'll be like a montage! Oh, something's happening. Hi there. How 
follows everything. It looks like your crunchling could use a little extra throwing practice in Jurassica. Are so I think what the game is basically like saying throw, is that like so. I've maxed out the uh the thing that I was trying to do. In fact, I got the same uh score more than once. And so Captain Crunch is like, "Yo, go do one of the other things cuz we're not going to let you level up until you do it." So, yeah. At least we, we know how much of the bar we got to fill. All right, on to the next one. Oh, hey, well, look at that. It's a different thing. I think if I were to go back to the home place, our little crunchling would uh, upgrade. But seeing as I just accidentally stumbled upon a new version of this, why don't I just play through it? Because here it is. By the way, getting the little crunch berries doesn't actually do anything for you. Um... It, uh, they don't give you bonuses to your time, as far as I've realized. Or if it, if they do, they are so negligent that it's not worth it to get them. Anyways, yeah, let's go back and see if, uh, we're gonna upgrade. What magnificent jump! No? Hey, oh yeah, there we go. Doing a great job raising your crunchling. I stopped by because I figure this little critter is about to go through a growth spurt. And now he evolves like a fucking Pokemon. Oh my god! Okay, maybe not like a Pokemon. Keep practicing, you two. He like morphed. Oh god, wow, that was alright. Yeah, so you've already seen the uh the newer jumping minigame. So I'm not gonna go through that again. But let's go ahead and uh Oh, what the fuck did my cursor turn into? It's a magic stick? Um all right, there's nothing in there. Cool. Interesting. All right, so let's let's go face the turtle again. Time to practice your speed, eh? Well, come with me. We're off to Backwardia. On your marks, get set, go. I don't think much has changed. I mean, it's a different course now, obviously, but it's the same idea. And I think these courses are generated, uh... Oh, well, okay. I didn't realize that that was an obstacle, considering it was down in the foreground so much, but that's okay. But yeah, okay. Look out for the uh, food truck, which has parked itself on the course now. Oh, I see, because you can technically ride on top of it. Okay. You know, my depth perception was working, but the game's depth perception, not so much. So there you go, there's that one new obstacle that they add in to make this a little bit more difficult, I guess. I, w I wouldn't say that it is difficult, but you know. There it is. Maybe you have to completely jump over it, because the, uh, the boxes you can skate on. Maybe, like, you just can't touch that one at all? I don't know. Not, not gonna try and hit it, because I just want to get through these quicker. Hey, there we go. Worst of my best time, but whatever. Congratulations. No, don't congratulate me. See, even he didn't like it. I don't know why I have to keep feeding you. I don't know if there's a reason to. Do you, I don't know if it actually does better. Oh, he tee hee 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 hee. Okay. Let's go do strength. I don't know if there's anything new here. My car. I can't remember there being anything new in strength. We're going to do some I hate that it gives you the goddamn rocks. intro to the planet every single time, and you can't skip it either. You just have to sit through him talking Watch about it. Get set, go. I think we can just throw faster now. Which just makes it all that much easier to get a better score, I think. Oh my god, we could fuck up the pterodactyl! <laughs> okay, well that was worth it. <laughs> so I think it's, yeah, now it's way easier to get a much better high score because you can literally hit everything. 
or most everything, because your uh, rocks are so much faster. So now I'm basically getting guaranteed uh, three hits. I'm already past the high score I had before, so... Cool! That'll make it that much easier to not give a shit. Only this poor thing wasn't, uh, you know, stuck in slavery. Yeah, hey, there we go. The more you practice, the stronger you'll get. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Alright, well, let's go ahead and speed up again and go through all these challenges until we can get to that uh, next evolution. Like it's a Pokemon or something. Oh, there we go. That's Found it. the next one. That means our crunchling will level up when we get back. Oh god. I completely fucked up there. Ah, yeah, it's expected. Because I'm not really paying that much attention to this game. I've actually got like YouTube going on while I'm doing this. Oh god. Oh. Okay. God, it's so floaty, but really I'm just holding down the jump button. Because it's not even worth it to land and like plan your jumps. Okay, maybe there it would have been. Oh, God. I gotta wait. Oh, no. My time. Thing is, I don't think it matters about your time. I think it really just matters about how quick you get up there in the final rush. Because, again, we're going up against that weird thief thing, whatever that is. Uh, see, and like something like that, where the platform's all the way at the other end, would destroy you in that final thing. I can't remember if we actually have to challenge him like on the final course, too. But, you know. We'll see. Anyways. What magnificent jumping! You'll be ready to jump against that big crunchy and thief and Yeah, I don't think so, but you know. Anyways, if we go back... We should get another visit. Well, hello there. I can see you two have been busy. Looks to me like this crunchling is about ready to grow to full size. And then he uh, morphs again and just gets a lot more hair. Terrific. Keep practicing, you two. He got way more hair. Well then, there we go. I guess we uh, have to feed him. And I think there's a little bit more of both bars to fill up. Yeah. Alright, that was interesting. No more magic stuff, I guess? Okay, no. So, as you can see, we can actually challenge the thief at this point. But I think we can also fill up the bars slightly more. So I'm going to show off just the last round of these. And uh, finish out the bars. And then we can go ahead and challenge the thief. We're off to Backwardia. I'm still not entirely convinced that thief doesn't mean like freedom fighter for these guys or something now here we go we're much faster now which means we're gonna obviously hit absolutely everything i think we can also jump a lot higher but i actually kind of got fucked before about the jumps being higher because like stuff like that like i'll jump way too high and i'll jump into the next thing which i can't see Oh, well. It doesn't really matter in the end. I don't know if you actually... What? I totally cleared that. Bullshit. I don't know if you have to do the uh, thief flawlessly. I honestly don't remember at this point. You might have to. 
but in the event that you do have to do the thief flawlessly, <laughs> we're gonna have fun. We're gonna be here a while. Yeah, that'll be uh, interesting. Still got the hot dogs, which clearly their hitbox is way, way, way too, uh, too big. Not that I'm complaining about a kid's game, but you know, it is. Just saying, just saying. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, yada, yada. Let's feed you. Oh, and I think we've actually filled up the speed bar, so we only needed to do it one time. I actually can't tell. It's so it's such a small resolution. I think we have. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's fill up strength next. This will be the last one to fill up. And then we'll go and uh, challenge the thief. Yeah, throwing practice. A.K.A. destroy the uh, volcano rocks. And also attack the wildlife. Oh look, you can hold it in one hand now. And I think we just toss it like no one's business. So I think as a kid... I would actually just stand, like, right next to one of the volcanoes and just, you, you know, doing this, you get absolutely everything in it. Oh my lord. He is, uh, frighteningly fast with this now. Well, at least we know if we get this one, it's pretty easy. Actually, this, I think, is the easiest challenge to beat the thief in. Strength. The uh, hardest, of course, being the jumping challenge, just because if you mess up a jump, you're pretty much a little screwed. He does go kind of fast in that challenge. Not that I care, but I mean, maybe the maybe the crunching like, you know, earns its freedom for doing the bidding of the thing. I don't know. Remember, the more you practice, we'll the find out. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off all the training, and then uh, I'll see you guys, and we'll challenge the uh, thief. All right, we're 100% on everything. Gonna give him a little bit more food. Pat him a little bit. Okay, now we're happy. We're good to go. Let's challenge the cr the uh, thief. Nice work, you two. You're ready to take on that crunchium thief. Okay then, let's just see how tough this character really is. Yeah, I guess let's let's see. So we're just gonna pick one of the three challenges at random. I'm back, crunchium thief, and I have our best crunchling athlete with me. It's time for you to keep your word and choose an event to challenge us. If we win, you and your band of thieves have to leave the center of the earth forever and return all of the crunchium you stole. Oh god, he can't even talk. A jumping contest, eh? Well, God damn it! We're ready for you, crunchy and thief. You'll the hardest fucking one. The top faster than he can climb. Follow the crunch berries. Don't follow the crunch berries. They All really right, don't help you. I want a good clean contest. This one is for the whole enchilada. Um, and all the crunchy. On your marks, get set, go. So I almost want to lose this just so that we get the chance to do more and like hopefully try and show off the uh, other uh, options to beat him in but actually this is super easy the platforms are a little bit more forgiving they're all within uh, your jumping distance it seems like because some of them like actually end up being too far for you to jump so I can just hold down space and uh yeah, just go through here. Yeah, no, oh, I won. <laughs> okay. And then we get a little cinematic, I'm pretty sure. Way to go! You've saved Crunchium City and all the world's Crunchium! Thanks to you, there will be plenty of Cap and Crunch cereal forever! Three oh, Lord. For the greatest Crunchling athlete! Three cheers 
for you and for Captain Flint Seal. Yep, he has them tied down forever. Oh, cool, it puts us here. Uh, well, I'm gonna see if we can challenge the thing and get the other two. A speed contest, eh? Well, we're running oh, there we go. you, crunchy M thief. Now remember, just press the right arrow key and time your jumps. You can do it! Alright, so we got the skateboarding right, competition. I want a good, clean cool. Contest. That means I could get the uh, strength one. Um, and all the crunchy M. On your marks, I also wonder if there's a uh, if there's something for losing. I don't know. Also, he's on a minecart. God, it's been such a long time too, because I'm remembering playing this as a little kid. It almost seems like this might be an easier thing because there's no hot dog stands to fuck me up. It's literally the boxes and the barrels, essentially. Well, we left them in the dust. My eyes can't even keep up because of the low frame rate of the game. Yeah, by the way, that's the game running that low frame rate. I don't think it's ever run real smooth. God, there's a long way to go. Ooh, that was close. Um, yeah, not much to say. We left him in the dust, though. We don't have to wait for him to get here. Okay, good. Oh, God, we, we don't have to watch all that again. All right, and I'm going to see if I can't get the strength one as well. A uh, strength contest, eh? <laughs> there we go. Well, we're ready for you, Crunchy and Thief. The first one to hit ten targets wins, so throw as fast as you can. Oh, interesting. First oh, one to hit everybody. ten targets. I a good, clean contest. This one is for the whole enchilada. Um, and all the crunchium. On your marks, get set, go! So I think it makes sense for you to just stand in front of here. Oh god, really? We might lose this one just because of RNG. Hopefully not. Oh my god, we almost lost that one because of just a random number of which side was going to shoot. And there we go. There's all the three of the competitions. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for watching the uh, Enslavement of a Species by Captain Crunch. It was as disturbing for you as it was for me, and I will see you guys next time with a different game that's hopefully not as bleak and disturbing, but, uh, you know, maybe not, because these are children's games, and they, they usually are vin very thinly veiled, horrible, horrible things. Bye bye